hello. Let's make a neat video. Um, some of the stuff that I take for granted, I notice that I'm constantly thinking like a thousand things that nobody else, like nobody else has made a video on that subject. And uh, many of them are infinitely important. Let's talk about something really important. I don't know if you've uh, been taught this before in photography, but we have diffuse, specular, and shadow. Diffuse or mid-tone, the true tonality, like, you know, my actual skin color underneath uh, these uh, wraparound uh, video lights. Okay, that would be the diffuse value or the true tonality or the objective, okay, the objective value of my face or whatever it is you're shooting, product, someone else's face, a boat, um, anything. Shadow and specular, okay, what about that? What's the most important thing in photography as far as uh, sublimating? Well, I'll talk about that in another video. Giving definition to your subject. I see a lot of people actually just blasting, kind of like these video lights. I mean, evenly lit, there's basically hardly any shadow on my face. That the shadow and the specular are the subjective value. They are the means, the two and only means, really, by which you uh, give definition or sublimation, and we'll talk about that in the next video, what sublimation is. It's like, oh, that's a big word, never heard of that one before. Like, really? Um, to your subject. You know, it's the means by which your subject is complemented in very short order. Complemented, or that which by you, uh, that, that by which you define your subject, your person, your thing, your object, your product, you know, your building. In some cases, obviously, we don't have control over landscapes, obviously. You have to hunt the light, and the same thing with buildings, unless you got some really hardcore, you know, 1400 watt second uh, speed, uh, studio strobes by which to actually give definition to a building. It's better just to actually pick really good lighting, like in the evening or in the morning, obviously, for that sort of stuff. But nobody's made a video about this fact. You only have two means by which to complement and define, and thereby define your photography of your subject that is, your shadow and your speculars or your highlights. The diffuse or the midtone, I see a lot of people like blasting things with light. All they're doing is giving proper exposure and illumination, just like my face right now. There's no subject, uh, excuse me, there's no uh, shadow definition, there's no specular definition, except maybe a little bit in my glasses, but nothing about my face has been defined as it exists right now. We can take a screenshot of uh, my face. You only have shadows and speculars by which to subjectively not only define yourself, your photography, but also the subject that you're trying to complement. The diffuse or the midtone or the true tonality are the objective value of your subject. And unless you start thinking along those lines, I mean, you're going to be forever lost on a hamster wheel. Um, these are really, really important factors. I mean, I learned these back in photography school, and they actually form the, key, the cornerstone and uh, the keystone to uh, all photography. So, really, really important. Uh, I should go into depth on that further later. But anyway, that was three minutes of photographic wisdom. Think about that, and you realize how not only important that is, but how true that is. Okay?